Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you. I'm sitting here on the porch of the cabin that we have here uh, at the at the ranch. And this is the view from our cabin this morning. So it's a beautiful day and beautiful view and beautiful place and having a good time. <coughs> this is called the River Ranch. Uh, Westgate River Ranch down in in uh, Florida, but uh, we're having a good time while we're here with my brother and his wife, and we're so thankful they invited us down to be a part of this and 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 to be here. Um, yesterday we went, Sean and I went skeet shooting. If you don't know what skeet shooting is, skeet shooting is not a bird. <laughs> it's a little round disc about that big, and it's made of clay, and it's thrown by an automated thrower. And you throw it out there and you try to hit it with a shotgun. <clears throat> I used to be pretty good at it. <laughs> you noticed I said used to be. Um, I probably hit, out of 25, I probably hit um, maybe 15. Something like that. But anyhow, uh, I didn't keep a very good count. Sean did, on the other hand. Uh, he, <laughs> he kept count to find out that he beat me by two. But <coughs> anyway, um, we had a good time. But th there was a guy standing right behind you when you shot. He was the guy that was releasing the skeet. And he'd stand right behind you and he'd say, uh, oh, you just shot under it. Or you just shot a little bit to the left or a little bit ahead of it or whatever. And he'd try to help you, you know, zone in on where you should be hitting didn't help a whole lot but anyhow it was a good try but it was about missing the mark you know we just uh we we just there were times that we hit the mark there were times that we missed the mark and i got up with that thought in mind and i decided to do a quick um study on that and so I looked up verses on missing the mark. And there was one verse in particular that stood out to me. It was Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. And it says, Since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of us be found to have fallen short. You know, there's a lot of ways to miss the mark, to fall short, to not quite get to where we need to be. Um in our spiritual life. The first is in thinking that we can be good enough that because we're just as good as anybody else, that's going to be good enough to get us to heaven. Well, Jesus said that I am, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. In other words, he said, I'm the one that you have to, to get to heaven through. Some people miss the mark by thinking they can get to heaven by being good enough, by their good works. Other people th miss the mark by thinking that um, they don't have to worry about sin in their life, and 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 it's just you know we'll deal with it, and and we're still we're still pretty good, you know. God still got a pretty good deal when He got us, and we don't have to worry about the consequences of sin. Well, yes, you do. Um, other people miss the mark by just thinking that. Um, religion or or having a relationship with God having a relationship with God through Jesus Christ is unnecessary it's it's something that you know heaven isn't real and um, you know we live as long as we live and we die and we go into the earth and that's it and they miss the mark of the promise that God gives us for eternal life other people miss the mark by thinking that um, it's not necessary to really work at being involved in a relationship with God. And so they don't spend time in the Word of God. They don't spend time learning more about Him. And they don't develop a close intimacy with God. They may have received Christ as their Savior, but they don't develop a close intimacy with God. And so they just kind of go through life. Yes, are they a child of God? Yes. Are they going to go to heaven when they die? Yes. Yes but they miss the mark of not getting all that they could out of their walk with God. We need to realize that there's a lot of ways that we can miss the mark ourselves and we need to do our best 
to try and build that relationship with God and not go through life missing out on the opportunities that God gives us, missing out on the chances that we have to be in this intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father, not missing out on knowing Christ as our Savior. It was, I, I have to tell you yesterday, when I would pull the trigger and I would actually hit the skeet and that thing would just blow to dust, uh, man, that was a fun time. That was a lot of fun. Uh, when I shot and realized it was still flying out there and I totally missed it, that was a disappointment. I think one of these days we're going to stand before God in heaven and we're going to realize all the times that we missed and the skeet just kept flying out there, all the blessings we missed, all the opportunities we missed. And there are some, sad to say, are going to wake up in eternal torment and are going to realize only then that they missed the mark in not receiving Jesus Christ as their Savior. <coughs> I don't want that to be you. So if you're watching today and you've never asked Jesus Christ to be your Savior, it's as simple as saying, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me, forgive me for my sins. I know Jesus died on the cross for me, and I want to receive his payment for my sin in my life and ask him to be my Savior. Something like that. It doesn't have to be those exact words, but something like that. God will know your heart. If you are a child of God, do everything you can not to miss the other marks in your spiritual walk with God, but to walk with Him closely and intimately as often as you can. Well, we're off to go see, I think, um, the Ringling Brothers, uh, the Ringling Mansion today. Uh, and so, um, looking forward, it's 36,000 square foot mansion. Uh, and so we're going to go check it out today. But uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll put a down payment on it a little later on. Might just say, you know, that looks good. I think I'll just move in. <laughs> you know what? I'll probably talk about that tomorrow because what we have awaiting us in heaven, will the Ringling Mansion will pale in comparison. <laughs> you have a great day today. I will see you, Lord willing, tomorrow. <laughs>